Introducing the all new long wait, it's not new. Okay. Introducing the old Longine Heritage Sector Dial from 2019, making its return back to the channel. Back then, we really didn't know how to make videos. And you still don't. Okay, just ignore her. And because I love this watch and I'm always thinking about it, I wanted to do a better job on the review. I think it deserves it being the best sector dial on the market. Now, I know some people are going to say the JLC master. What is it? Master control. But it has the cheesiest skeletonized hands, a pathetic excuse for a crown. And of course, the hideous date window breaking up that sector dial. And also the brushed stainless steel section of their sector dial is way too thick. It's almost like they did not want to hire a designer to design the watch. Okay, enough bashing on the JLC. I love the brand. JLC founded in 1833. The watchmaker's watchmaker. But Longines founded in 1832, a year before. With an incredible heritage, many world firsts. One of the most important houses in watchmaking. When you wear a Longines, you can almost feel that heritage. And there is a tremendous amount of pride here. Now, why haven't I bought this watch? So I love it. I obviously do. I'm obviously biased. <laughs> Maybe the price. $21.50 USD. What are you getting for your money? Is it worth it? In this video, I'm going to try to find out why I haven't bought it yet. Now, the case is completely brushed. Technically, this has Pilot Watch DNA and it has a nice big 6.7 inch crown, giving the watch 30 meters of water resistance. So only splash proof, but this thing should not see water anyways. Still wish it was 50 meters at least. These are the measurements that I got. 38.7 in diameter. We have a thickness of 11 millimeters, including that box sapphire right there with ar no drilled lugs and a lug to lug of 47.7 pretty long reach here for a 38 but it manages to turn down dramatically at the end so we can kind of negate that negative now the sapphire crystal is a bit strange with the frosted edge right there i've seen micro brands with a dome this high that have a clear edge so I think Longines should polish that sapphire and get it clear. I love a dramatic crystal. I'm a big fan of a dramatic crystal. I think it elevates a watch big time, but with the cloudy frosted edge, it kind of takes away from the beauty of that boxed sapphire. So maybe, maybe that's what's stopping me. It could be it. I am the pickiest watch collector of all time, but... You know what? Maybe it's not that, but that might be a big part of it. The case back is ultra high polished and it says EF Co. A nod to Mr. Francilion, the nephew of the founder of Longines, who created the first factory for Longines. Loving the nod to history and remembering family on this historic piece. So big fan of that. Do I wish we see the movement? Mm, no, I'm okay with it. Now the dial and hands. This watch is truly all about that dial and hands. Heat treated blue pencil style hands that are done to perfection, capped in the cannon pinion. Looks unbelievably gorgeous. Even the rim of the hands that connects to the cannon pinion is beveled perfectly. The small seconds hand is also heat treated blue. Now they did create a regulator and modify this movement to create the spacing between the two pinions. However, I think it's a little high. The six o'clock Arabic is cut off more on the original. So maybe they should have lowered it just a bit to get that ratio more dialed in. Now there is a brushed stainless steel portion on the dial. It looks gorgeous. And the way it contrasts with that eggshell creamy white in the sector is absolutely mesmerizing. I find myself staring at the dial frequently. I'm not a fan of this strap, 19 mils, and the color just does not feel premium. It's fuzzy and ah, I just really dislike this. It's nice and smooth on the inside with calfskin here, and it is soft but it's just the look. I think any other strap would look better on this watch. I can't change it because I don't own the watch. And you know, once you, once you change a leather strap, it's the watch becomes used. Here's a rich Royal blue. Let me cover up the top. 
Mm, yeah, that looks a lot better. Yeah, any strap would look better on this. So definitely a big ding is the strap and maybe I just can't get past the strap. Okay, let's check her out on the time grapher. We do have the L893 27 joules hack and wine automatic 25 2 VPH with 72 hours of power reserve silicone balance hairspring. All right, look at these numbers. 270 amplitude, a lot of B air, 0 0.5. Not a fan of that B air, but look at the rate. Zero, negative two, negative two, zero, zero. Let's do one more, negative one. Okay, we're gonna do 12 down now to see how it's gonna perform on your wrist. 251 amplitude, we did get a drop in amplitude. The B air actually got better at 0 0.4. So that's interesting. Okay, never mind. <laughs> it's back to 0.5. But you can't complain with this rate. Plus one, negative one, zero. And the fourth and final round, zero. Wow. Longine always does well on the time graph. The finishing on the watch is pretty good, but I did find a black speck. Maybe you guys saw it in the macros somewhere around the one or 12. I think it popped up in the macros a couple times. Go back and check that out if you want to see. I can always drop the movement and take a lens swab and just get it out, but I should not have to do that. But that's not really a deal breaker. You cannot see it with the naked eye. Other than that, the finishing is great. The hands are perfect. Alignment, they're very clean, very low dust level. So I had to mention that because we're very strict on finishing here on this channel. But why haven't I bought it? I think maybe it's the crystal. Maybe it's the strap. I don't know. I'm still undecided and I still absolutely adore it. Maybe it's a bit too boring. Um, I have no idea. So I'm still at a loss why I haven't picked one up. I do love the silver arrow. I need a Longines in my collection. And I'm thinking silver arrow, maybe 36 millimeter legend. I don't know. But the silver arrow reminds me too much of my king. And I think the king is just way better. So, so I don't want two of basically almost the same watch. So this is still a strong contender and I'm still considering it. Let me know your thoughts. What should I do? What do you guys think the reason is? Let me know down below. And if you want to watch more Longines videos, check this video out over here and this video out over here. And if you like this video, please like, share and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one.